Well, I'm on the way out of out of here. <laughs> in a lake uh, back in the swamp off the uh, lower river. And uh, got about six or seven, maybe eight brim in the box. And uh, not very big, but enough for supper by cooking up hush puppies. So uh, we'll see how it goes. They, uh, Plenty of water back here. There's a, see a few fish. It's about 61 degrees. If it warms up, it's going to cut loose down here on the top of Hatcher River. Coming in this morning, I jumped uh, three turkeys. Not very far from the landing. First time I've ever seen a turkey in here. about 50 yards from it maybe. Go across the slough that brings me in here. So uh, anyway another nice day this morning. Just putting along and enjoying it. You get on up here the head of this lake it gets pretty narrow and uh, get a lot of snag coming in this morning. The river's getting really down. And uh, Water's clear back in here since the river no longer running through the swamp. Beautiful water. And uh, there's fish in here, but not biting yet. And there's 20, 25 feet of water in some of the holes. About 18 right now. Still seeing fish down here. seat in the boat. <laughs> I'm out here by myself. I take the front seat out, put me a pole in there or something to grab a hold on and hang on to. I walk around in this boat. Not as agile as I used to be. So uh, need a little help so I don't fall out of the boat. <laughs> anyway, we're coming around the corner up here. We should be coming into the Coming into the slough, and I probably have to shut the camera off. One place this morning I got hung up, so I have to have put both hands to get across the log. I think when it uh, drop, drops another six inches or so, we might not be able to get back in here. So, uh, anyway, tomorrow I'm going down to Seven Runs. Friend of mine, we're gonna check out uh, some of the creeks off the old river and uh, see if we get back in the swamp down there. There's a few holes I know about. It should be interesting. So uh, we had to caught a few brim today. That's a little encouraging. They're gonna start sooner or later. Some people are catching them uh, all along. But uh, hadn't been all that great. Not for me anyway. Hope the motor noise not drowning me out too bad on the I'm using my regular camera. I might rig me up some kind of a pole and hold this thing so I can have both hands free. Thought about a GoPro but need a GoPro. That's three or four hundred bucks. I, I buy a lot of fish bait and a lot of gas. Just use what I got. And uh, 
By the way, a gator scared me this morning. I was slipping up through the side of the lake with my trolling motor, and I didn't see him. And uh, he jumped off the bank and hit the water. Made a big splash. I never even saw him. But I know I never saw the splash. And uh, <laughs> sort of got my attention. Get back in here. You down here on the river, you're going to see a gator every now and then. So uh, there's something in the pool. Maybe a gar or two there. Going into the creek now that takes me on back to the landing. Yeah, I'm stirring up fish in here. It must probably gar, I imagine, on top of the water. And I run through here. fair amount of activity this morning along the shoreline. And I'm guessing it was probably bass, or maybe mudfish, but uh, I don't fish bass. And the gator slide right back there. So, we get into the approach. Some of you might recognize where I'm at. the first log I went over. That'd be a few more. I might have to, down here in one place, I might have to shut off and uh, use both hands to get the boat across the log, I'm pretty sure. I got hung up there coming in this morning. Got my transducer. I forgot to. There's another one. Be interesting is to see if I can hear that bang when I watch the video. It's pretty narrow right here. That one okay. Thought I'd hit something, but it didn't. That's what I love about river fishing. Get back in here, and there's hardly anybody don't encounter very many people where where I fish. Once I'm off the main river. log right here. It's probably half a mile or better than my landing back into the lake here. So go along about two or three miles an hour. About all you can do. And here's this place up here I had trouble up. Bang! <laughs> this morning, let's see what's going to happen this time. Yeah, it's going to get hairy up here. Up, so I gotta shut her down. 